the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to come to worship and praise your holy name. You said when two or three are gathered in your name, you've been missing that. We now invite you to see the presence of the Holy Spirit. Lead us and guide us in all truth. Father, move us out of the way that the Holy Spirit have his way. We thank every Father for those who will be able to watch us live on this video, uh, on Facebook Live. We ask Heavenly Father to bless them, anoint them, bring the people that needs to hear or wants to hear your word, your guidance. We ask that we be. Uh, vessels to allow the word of God, your will to be done, led by the Holy Spirit, anointed by the word of God, to do those things that accept in that sight. Father, we thank you for what you're going to do this day, this hour, concerning the studying of your word. Allow us, Heavenly Father, to let the word of God go freely, without any hindrance from any satanic demonic forces. Allow the word of God to go forth into the hearts of all of us to grow and be more solid than we've ever been before. I thank you, Father, and now we give you glory to God, the function to guide us in our study. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. What, uh, what, I, what I saw as, as, as you were talking about, some, some, I had a whole bunch of them, and I wanted to see what he was going to say about it, but I got the... Uh, uh, the, the scriptures that, that we was talking about. Uh, and if you remember, he basically was saying is that the the, uh, the, 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 the the story was a prop to convey a the answer to what the guy said, right? So like you said, I think you took it all the way to 23, but I, I was just bringing it in the setting, you, you know, where it said Luke 10, 25, Mm -hmm. And uh, let me see who is this. This is Elder Johnson. Elder Johnson showing up. Let's see here. Uh, give him a second. I keep going. Hey, Elder. Good morning. How y'all doing? Good morning, sir. We, morning. We're doing mighty fine. Mighty fine. We're sitting there. Getting ready. We're just getting started to get into it. Uh, Elder should be coming shortly. But we're, we're, we're just... Uh, Getting into what what the scripture was uh, was about, and then going to some of the uh, potential CITs, at least the ones I had up there. And then Brother Addison, I think you got. Did you do a new one, Brother Addison? Mm -mm, no. Okay, gotcha. Uh, so what I had here was the uh, and Brother Addison. I was just ready to read it into it. He said, "Okay, behold, a certain lawyer stood and tempted, as that test that triggered you to go to four, Mark four uh, eleven said, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Bishop, what I was saying is that, that that is the that's the prime question. You know, what, what what must I do to inherit eternal life? And I think that's what people want to know themselves, right? Just like the rich young ruler that came under Jesus. What must I do to inherit eternal life? Now this is an interesting but as it is saying it's a test. And he said uh, unto him, Jesus answered right back to him, well, what is written in the law? How read is the law, right? How read is that the law? You, you asking me a question about eternal life? What, what does the law say about that? Uh, and he answered and said, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy strength and with all thy mind and thy neighbor is thyself. And he, Jesus, said unto him, Thou answered right, and thou shalt do. He said, Right, do this, and thou shalt live. So, so Jesus basically given said, You want the eternal life? Here you go. You you just read it. You said what the law said. You, matter of fact, we remember we talked earlier uh, that that those two commandments he gave wrapped up all the commandments, all the ten commandments, right there, right. But 29, that he willing to justify himself, said unto Jesus, who is my neighbor? Now, I thought 
a elder that the question who is my neighbor would just to say, look, I, I see you gave me the answer. What was I do to inherit eternal life? Is that is that any disagreement on that? Did Jesus give the man an answer? Uh, he did give him an answer. Uh, and then he gave him a statement. <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he gave him an answer. He gave an answer. He gave an answer. And then he gave if, you him... to, if you want, since they were already under the law, right? Remember that? That's the whole point. Is he has a he, he didn't get to that that scripture or the sermon where he said, "Unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood," you know, uh, you know, you basically I can't you can't say. He never, he never got to that point yet. He never got to the scriptures, or he may have did it earlier where he said, I am the bread of heaven that came down. Uh, but this is a different setting. And these people, because Jesus has not yet uh, died on the cross, they can't be, they couldn't be born again. So the only way they could inherit eternal life anyway at that time, but as it was, the law, right? But he would now, but the guy wanted to justify himself. He wanted to say, okay, I, I'm following the law. You gave me the answer, but who's my neighbor? Now he wanted to he wanted to justify himself. So that's what I that's where we're really at, right? The whole purpose of of the of this whole conversation is A, how do I get eternal life? B, who is my neighbor? Who's the person that was the love as myself, right? That, that and that that's that's it. That's a that's a valid question, and and I like what Jesus goes basically goes give an answer. And I'm and I'm saying this as we go into the discussion is who is our neighbor, and does it make a difference of who our neighbors are? You know. So with that in mind, I, I wanted to uh, share what I had. Ellen, then I you got yours, so I'm gonna show you next. I had well, I, I did a whole bunch of them. I gave you the top. The top one is gonna be the one I thought that uh, synopsis that this uh, this uh, CIT or this, this this story, verses 25 to 37. I said, look at this. In my kingdom, you cannot inherit eternal life by following my great commandments. Love me and those in need. That, that's one that I, that I put down there. And it's funny because, you know, I, I had a whole, you know, some, you know, I'm just restating in different ways, right? <laughs> look, at, look at this other one. The Lord thy God changes not. Follow my commandments and him who showed mercy to all sinners. That, that, that was another one that I got out of that. I like that. Huh? <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I said, because that's a, that's a that's such a theme of what he's trying to say. The other one that said, in my kingdom, eternal life requires you to show mercy to those who you don't know. And then that triggered me to write the second one, brother. I was thinking this one. In my kingdom, eternal life requires you to show mercy to those who don't deserve it. And and I assume that that's why the, the elder, I think that's why the priest and the, uh, the scribe uh, walked on the other side. They, they made a judgment, you know, elder, on the old people on the side of the road. They, they they made a judgment statement. They basically said, "Oh, uh, he ain't." Because I'm let's say if they knew that person, would they? If that was their child, what would they have done? They would have helped them, right? So that that's yeah. how I was looking. That's what I said. So they assessed that when they looked at that person, that person doesn't deserve my help, doesn't deserve my attention. I'm gonna go on the other side of the road. So far, so so sometimes people want to put their neighbor, and I think that's what Jesus is trying to say is you're trying to put your neighbor 
in a, in a box that fits your criteria. Opposed to the fact is that certain man could be any man that in me, you know what I mean? The, the, uh, the next one I put in there is my kingdom, eternal life, requires you to love with your heart and mind, me, yourself, and sinner. And I wanted to put sinner in there because like I said, that's, that's, I think that's what people pull back from. They make, they do that judgment out of uh, who's a sinner, you know? Uh, who's a saint? And 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 I wanted to make sure they understand that uh, I, everybody, right? Because the scripture said all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So so that's really everybody. They don't deserve it, but they receive the mercy and grace of God, just like you. And look, as a matter of fact, I put on the second one. I said, <laughs> I sent these slides to you. Look at this. Eternal life requires you to love your fellow man as I have loved you. You need my son to love. And I think I think you said that one time, Brother Addison. You 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 can't love without outside. Well, you can't you 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 can't love God the way the scriptures tell you to. Yeah. <laughs> or not even or or and I should say and you can't love your neighbor. Right. Right. As as the scriptures tell you to, because this love is unconditional. And that's that that was uh uh CIT I just wrote. Okay. Yeah. Just now. So right. I, I just I just wrote unconditional love is required to inherit eternal life in the kingdom of God. So exactly. that, that is what I, I just finished writing. Yeah, it's a godly love, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure God man. Yeah. I think I, the thing is that when we talk in terms of life, I think that's mm -hmm. that. You know, when you said I come, they might have life and that they might have it more abundant. Right. Aside from Christ, aside from Christ's interaction, his, 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 uh, well, our being re, re, what was the word, reconciled to God, the Father, okay. we didn't have no love in us. Because we look at, we look at, the scripture said God is love. Yeah. If you're not been reconciled to God, the Father, then you don't have the love of God abiding in you. Come on now. So it, 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 it's a, it, it's, 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 it's the primary one of the primary. It is the essential element that has to take. It has to occur prior to anything else going out of it. <laughs> you have to be reconnected to the Father. Yeah. <laughs> As Jesus said, you must be born again. You must be born again. You must no. be born again. That's not that's not a you and or boy. That's a that's 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 a must do, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You must be born again. Yes, in order to have the life and the love of God in you, you must be born again. You must be born again. He said it's not even an option. That's not option. You, you want the God kind of love, the agape love. Yeah, you want God love. You right. want God living inside of you. Come on now. And, and you know, another thing I put in there that self is the fact is that I was thinking about the United you know, Scripture bit, uh, Elder where it says, you know, he, you know, it, it's, I don't know if it's a scripture, but the bottom line is that your wife is you. And if you don't love your, if you if you hit your wife, it's not a scripture, but I think it, it's, it implies someone, maybe you can find where it's Yes, it no man it's hated his own body. It. Huh? Your wife is part of your body, right? He said, yes, yeah, he said, no man hateth his own body. So if a man doesn't love his wife, he doesn't love his own body. Come on now. That's, that's yeah. So you're you one. You're you not going to love yourself. If you're not love yourself, <laughs> you, 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 if you attack your wife, you're really attacking yourself. Yep. Well, but you got you to gotta understand, these people who do that, they do not love themselves. That's the, yes, that's the point I'm saying, yes. They don't, that's, not, not, that's, not not unconditionally yeah because cool. you know i tell I, well i i say this a lot yeah i say you don't know love until you understand the unconditional love that god has for you. come on 
And along with that, you have to understand the unconditional love that Christ died for you. Yeah. Yeah. Then you can have unconditional love for yourself. Come on. Because you understand how God loves you. Exactly. And until you have those three foundations, you cannot love anyone yeah. unconditionally. Yeah. So what happened, there is a pattern to that. Yes. I think that's what he's been saying. Yeah. He, he, some people don't know how to love themselves. They right? don't. And, 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 and how could you love another unless you understand that? Hmm. I don't think you can. You, you can't. You, you, I, you, I you, can, you can love according to this world. Uh-huh. You know, give to get. Come on. Uh, do to be done. You know, forget about what I do, or or what like my parents used to say. Don't do as 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 I do. Do as I say. Exactly. <laughs> right. 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 And, and, and you understand the profound impact of that, right? <laughs> because the point is that they, we really go by what we learn and what we see. In other words, everything is educated by the, what comes in our senses, not just by what words come out of our mouth. And that's, and that's why I think that's why Christ died. I you think, know? yeah, he was. Huh? It, 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 the son, the ear gate is one of the most least, some, a lot of people, most least effective uh, learning aids that we have. You know, for reference, we forget yeah. what we hear like that. It's just go in and out, in and out. You yeah. had to say something over, over and over again before a person really pick it up. But yeah. if they see it, they might not have to see it but one time. And that's yeah. that's why you gotta you have to meditate on the word. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. you have to sit there Rehearse it. Rehearse it. and 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 you got to you got to say that thing and you there's there's certain things that stick out to you and you just meditate on those few words to give the whole sentence meaning and 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 put in its proper place and then you take that then you can actually understand a paragraph <laughs> you know that that's talking about it and then you can actually get that paragraph and then place that into this new concept of this this new covenant yeah that's true yeah. <laughs> and one of the, the foundations again of that covenant is the love of god yeah. So my thing, my thing, it has become, and not always has been, but it has become. When Paul said in 13, he said, do I speak with the tongues of angels and men, but I have not charity, I've become a sounding brass and a thinking symbol. Exactly. That was such a wonderful statement coming from a man like Paul of Tarsus, I mean, Saul of Tarsus, because this man was driven by uh, devotion, dedication, purpose. Yeah. When he was killing all Christians, he thought of having Christians done well and killed off. He thought he was doing the right thing. He yeah. thought he was doing the right thing. He yeah. really was sold out on that. This guy was really going after yeah. doing for God. Yeah. Yeah. And, that, and like I said, if they're gonna kill us thing and they're doing God a favor, but but he was wrong because he didn't have love in it. <laughs> the, yeah. the one thing that was missing from Paul's whole doctrine at that point was his love of his neighbor. Yeah. Well, he knew his own God. Yeah, he had, he had, he was no different than this lawyer that uh -huh. tempted Christ. Amen. Uh -huh. He had the letter. Yep. Of the law. Yes. He had no concept of the love. Love. That was within it. Come on. At that particular time. Come and on. And it took Jesus Christ, love incarnated into mankind. Amen. Yeah. Flesh to actually demonstrate it, to live it, yep. and to teach it. Yeah. And, and so outside of Christ, this new covenant could not be even understood. Exactly. It took the fullness of time. Right. The right. Fullness of time. And you know, for I think that's to be to, for 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 the possibility to even understand this nature. Yeah. yeah, I think that's that's a good word. Yeah, that's a good word and to I understand think, this nature. Yeah, and, and I think that's what that guy. That's why that guy couldn't understand who is my neighbor. Yeah. 
because he he's he's wrapped up in the law and not understanding that the law doesn't have the love of God through it. Yeah, and that's the scary it's, part. I told somebody something about uh, uh, Martin Luther King and the saying is that the law can't can't change racism. Yeah. It can just regulate it. You know? Yeah. You know why? Yeah, it. Because it requires love of mankind. Yes. To regulate. To and regulate. they don't have it. Yeah. That's why even with the laws, it's it's an impossibility right. to produce it on a level that is going to be meaningful to mankind. I would go as far as to say it's impossible to produce it, period. Yeah. Law will never change a human heart. No, no, no. Law will not change your heart. I mean, <laughs> and the, the funny thing about it, I just thought a stop sign never stops being a stop sign. Uh -uh. <laughs> Even when you that get was, to it, that, it was, a that was a good analogy right there. It, it's <laughs> always, that's all it got. It's a stop sign. It's going to tell you to stop. If, if, the, if the person bleeds to death, it's going to tell you to stop. If there's if there nothing happening to him, it's going to tell you to stop. It doesn't really matter. The law is going to remain the same. Never, it doesn't have enough flexibility to bring about life Come in on. situations where it's necessary. So Jesus becomes sin that we might become righteousness. Yeah, that's straight that, crazy, that, right? Look, that look, is just when totally you, counter you, to the law. When you <laughs> say that, to to just say that <coughs> without the understanding, the the spiritual revelation in that, that makes no sense. Yeah, no, man. None, yeah. none. When, none. when at, uh, on its face, there, there is there. there it's it is crazy. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's it's like, what is wrong with you, man? <laughs> <And> <laughs> to even say that, right? Yep. Exactly. But We're therein different. is the power of God. That's there it. it is. That's it. Right. right. That's it. I think that when you say you can't be born, you have to be born again because you don't God have to be Huh? Hallelujah. And then, I mean, and then, but check this out. And then you got to look at the other end of that. Once you're born again and you had that understanding, it's like, how can you not understand that? You know what I mean? Now, now it's hard for us to flip back <laughs> and see it any other kind of way. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's, it's it's hard to to see how they can't get it now. Right, but you know, I, I like the, the Galatians. That reminds what you just said was. Remember Galatians to start off with kind of saying is, "Who bewitched you?" Yeah. <laughs> to go to go back. Yeah. To the law. See, and and we have a tendency to to default back to the to the law, back to the flesh. Yeah. And now we have we lack the compassion of, of recognizing that our neighbor is the one who we show mercy to. Yeah. And in essence, to me, he's trying to say, if correct me wrong, I want you to show mercy to everyone. That's yeah. what it says, right? Yeah. That's what it says. Yeah. That's Let basically what it on a mercy roof for they should obtain mercy. Come on. Ooh. Come Let's on. on a mercy roof I want mercy. mercy. I gotta yep. give mercy. You gotta give mercy. Come on now. You want forgiveness? You gotta give forgiveness. You yeah. got whatever it is yeah. that you want. You gotta give it. Come on. In other hey. words, you gotta plant. You want yep. love? Plant hey. love. <laughs> yep. There's there's another scripture that go with that. Give and it shall, it shall, shall be given to you. you. Amen, man. Come on. We we try. Somebody try to put that in a box for money. That thing is that. That's yeah. what you every know. give. Right. Yeah, I mean the script. The script was flipped at Calvary. It really was. And we all have the ability to do that. Yeah. There's there's many of us in County, and, and we may be one of those people the other folks in County too, who don't deserve the love for God or no. anybody else. I still no. don't. I, I I in 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 and of myself, I do not. Amen. No. <laughs> but look what I he did. Not. But because he because he extended that love to us anyhow, he said yes. while we were yet sinners. He brought us to eternal life. Yes. While we were yet yes. fit, not even fit to kill. Right. He brought us into eternal life and he brings us into eternal life. And that is our mission in this 
world system now is to bring this, the peoples in this world, our neighbors, to bring our neighbors our to neighbors. eternal life. Yeah. We, have, we really have nothing to lose because no, we're saved. Really, our souls yeah. are saved, we're secure for eternity. Yeah. We extend all that we have in order to bring more of them in. Yes. Yeah. This is a difficult task because I'm, man, people are gonna hate you for that. And some of them are going to kill you. Exactly. <laughs> the same people you're going to get are going to be the one caught when you put the picture. Right. And if we can if we can embrace the life, then if we can embrace life, then we can embrace love, then then we would have we have, we would have done as Stephen did, as Jesus did. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We do understand it. Like like the last one was just saying. Once you come to a knowledge of what life and love, love true life is. It's hard to go back the other way and go, like, that doesn't make sense for me to go back and do that. You know, it doesn't make sense for me to go around killing folks. It doesn't yeah. make sense for me to go around taking away from people. It doesn't make sense for any of the evil that takes place. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. It doesn't. And, but, I, and so, but you will be inspired to do it because people are going to do it to you. Yeah. And, and I think no, that's the hardening that, you know, we're talking about, we'll go back to the original parable, that our hearts get hardened. Yeah. And, and, and that's where we, we <laughs> love somebody. Right? It's, it's a certain part of your heart is hard. Not meaning that the word of God is not getting good. And now you you hate people because they don't do what you want them to do. They don't act the way you act. You don't show mercy toward people. You want to show mercy toward only the people who line up and think the way you think. And that's not what God is trying for us to do. You know some two pastors to tell them. It's actually calling us to love folks that are purposefully trying to come against us. Yes. Yeah. And not only are they not people that are different, but people that are ad adversary to you. Right. Enemies. You said love your enemies. Yeah. Now enemy ain't, ain't just a person that ain't doing things the way I do it. It's, yeah. it's a person that's doing something against what I'm trying to get done. You know, this is a guy or a woman that's actually trying to undermine my well-being. Right. But what does God tell us to do? Love them anyhow. Love them anyway, right? Love them anyhow. Bless them then. <laughs> Yeah. I think it's why why Jesus didn't really address the social issue as much in Rome as he could have. They were wrong, and he knew they were wrong. I mean, but he saw a greater need for them. It wasn't yeah. his need that he was looking for, it was their need. They were wrong, but he knew that the only way they were gonna get right was if they got him. Come on. That's so he it. preached him. He preached he preached the kingdom of God. He preached him as Christ. So we know. The brother, the hearts of the bigot can be fixed by the love of God. Right. If they are born again, the bigotry will be taken care of. Yeah. So we have to have the <laughs> love. We have to perceive them as our neighbor because they're in need. Well, I, I need to see you my CRT too. I guess I do. Do now, I need to post? Let me, let, me, let me go ahead and finish mine then right quick. Oh, okay, let me, let me hurry. I had a whole list of them. <laughs> I had a whole list of them. Check this out. Look at the other one. Uh, the uh, the other one I said in there said is uh, to inherit your life you must follow the way of my son and show mercy to you and, and others to inherit eternal life you must show love, mercy and compassion to others like my son did toward you I wanted to keep emphasizing that we need to do what he <coughs> did toward you and check this out the last few to inherit eternal life, you do not, do not be like white. Look at this, Elder. <laughs> do not be like white walled religious folks who don't show mercy to strangers. <laughs> right, legit. Yeah. yeah. I, hey, brother, I, said, I wanted to put that in there because that's what I wanted to say. And yeah, I, like, I, 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 uh, I'm getting my emotional part on it. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, I that was one of the first things that I uh, I peeped out in my studies uh -huh. is that it was the church that walked by this man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It yes, was sir. the church. Yes, sir. It oh. was the church. Yes, representative of the body. But so, because so, they had the laws in place that they had to keep, they were really doing what they were supposed to do. Were they? They were. They were. They really were. In accordance with, I, I, I noticed that when we first started going over there. In accordance with their law, if they had to touch that guy, 
they would have defiled themselves, at least a couple of them would have, and would not have been fit for service. In the, they would not have been able to serve in the temple that day. So they avoided helping this guy because the law told them that if they touched him, he was bleeding or dead, one or the other. I thought that it was dead.